Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days and sponsored by New England Federal Credit Union. My name is Ava Saulberger. We are here in Northfield at the Countryman Peony Farm. And all around me is a smell of peonies. We're just trying to be good stewards of the land and just carry on Mr. Countryman's legacy. People aren't buying just a peony plant. Some might think they are. They got a piece of history. And I love the work you've done Don't, on it. It's thank really you so good. Much. We have 185 acres. Number of plants, I'm guessing 4,000 plants. That's a ballpark. Somewhere in the area of 600 varieties. Attention on deck, attention on deck. <laughs> peony expresses a ride. So we started a new tradition on Father's Day. Um, so we meet for breakfast and then come out here to enjoy this beauty. So is this your Father's Day trip now? This is, yeah. My husband's not here, so he doesn't know I'm gonna buy a plant, but I am. Okay. Enjoy the beauty. Just gonna hold on to it as long as I can. These two beds down here are the first two beds that Mr. Countryman planted. Bill Countryman can't pay the guy enough accolades from years past of what he did and what he created here. Bill Countryman, the original owner, 1991, was yeah. given the Comanche and his obsession slash addiction, per yeah. the family's words, began. He was a botanist, professor in Norwich, so he wanted a collection. So you have a French collection, a British collection, and then just earlies, mids, lates, the blooms. Every plant, every bush, every tree that is on this was his, was his so he selected, he hand selected, and we are just reaping the benefits of it. You saw the size of the roots coming out of the ground. I know. The problem is, however, trying to decide which ones you want. I'd like to buy a plant. Only one? <laughs> <laughs> Come on! And right now is the start of the bigger bloom, and it's going to run for another week. Fabulous. I'll be right there. And we're not peony aficionados at all. Retirement for us. Yeah, yeah. I'm a retired Connecticut trooper. I retired. Not to dig plants. Um. <laughs> I worked for the FBI for 30 years. We can say it's retirement, it's harder work physically. Much but... more mentally rewarding. Yes. When I went to school here at Norwich University, but every time we would come up during the summers, I would cross the Vermont line and would say to me, Dan, you are a different person when you got here. Your lucky day, sir, your lucky day. He was our real estate agent for eight years as we were trying to find property here. We moved to Austria April of 2012, sold our home in Connecticut, we sold our whatever we didn't need, cars, this, and we were free. And then he calls in October and says, I think I have exactly what you're looking for. And he said, oh yeah, and it used to be a peony farm. And I was like, <laughs> oh, I heard the angels singing to me, I'm like, that's my favorite flower. And he flew back, he walked the property, I stayed in Vienna. This was all trees. You could not see any of that view. Didn't even know there was a pond there because nope. everything was so overgrown. And two weeks later, we were in a deal. And I do think that the stars aligned at the right time. We walked for eight years, we looked for eight years, and it wasn't until after we were somewhere else. Sold everything. Sold moved. everything. Somebody somewhere thought that we would be the right people for this place. So please, walk, enjoy, okay? I love interacting with the folks. Hold on, I've only rolled it once this year. So <laughs> Just today, we had uh, people from St. Johnsbury, Jericho. Jericho, all over the state. Yesterday was uh, New, New Hampshire, Hampshire two hour drive. and Connecticut. Last year we had people visiting from China who came here three times over the few weeks they were here. What I call repeat offenders, they're coming back. Yeah. Frequent flyers. Yeah. I was here a little over 10 years ago. People are so enthusiastic. We could be out here on a hot day like it is today and we're, you know, we're back and forth, we're running around, we're sh shuttling people around. But when they are taking the time to tell you how much it means to them. I am so happy to see that these people have come in and fallen in love with it. And are you always the digger? You think my wife's going to do that? <laughs> we're not gardeners. We're accidental gardeners, so to speak. Time to dig. Me for the digger and he for the planter get to pick up a bigger chunk of dirt. You hear the root pop? Yeah, I did. So the red root exposed down that far. Look at that. That's a monster. Yeah. That plant's been sitting there parked for 16 years. Adonis 01. 01? We're up to 17. Yeah. 
the tags that were coming out were 2001 and 2002 that they were planted. So, so 16, 17 you. years. Yeah, that plant's in there, and it's yep. still surviving. So monster, that goes to show you how roots. hardy the peony monster is. Roots. Yeah. I'll collect your money, the best part of my day, yeah. and then I'll kick you off the property. <laughs> a rogue will come up, or a peony will pop up, and it doesn't look like anything nearby, or it's not part of a regular plant. We don't know what it is, and I put a little sign on there, because even though we're selling all rogues, I like that one. I mean, it's a gorgeous plant, so it opens up light color, and fades out to white with pink bottoms. Chick, chick, here girls! They'll come running out. Here oh, girls! Out. Come on! Come on. Can you hear that? They know you're here. The bullfrogs. That cat's from Bosnia. We adopted her as a Bosnian refugee when we were living overseas. But these animals live a great life. When you're outside in the sunshine, you're hearing the birds, you're getting the fresh air, you're getting this beautiful breeze, which we have. We're making a lot of neat friends. Friends, contacts, connections, people that are salt of the earth people here oh. in town. And they are old true Vermonters. This, this is, is a great state to this live is in, and it is. It's the heart of the state of, of the people. But everyone talks about, oh, that's God's country. We're here. The Peony Farm is open through the month of June, and we are in peak bloom. They're open Thursday through Sunday, and we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Sign up for our weekly email alerts. Nobody's here, and I'll hear him scream at the top of his lungs. Plenty of expletives. I hate peenies. <laughs> What's it like being stuck in Vermont? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't wait to get stuck in Vermont. Hold on, hold on. Stuck in, stuck in Vermont. Yes, awesome. <laughs> yeah, and you can use that. Oh, good. I'll just, I'll replace the theme song. Jesse, you want to get him behind us and yes, we'll do a trio? Yeah, we'll do a, we'll do a yeah, little. Smart man. <laughs>